So I managed to take the bloody motherboard out, which is very annoying. So I can get to the top, because it's upside down effectively, which is weird. So there's the uh, trackpad, that's not working right. So I'm going to take another one out from another machine. And I'm going to change that out. I might as well go through the pain of removing this bloody thing here, because while well, I've got the thing out, rather than messing about with it, so there's so many screws, so much stuff you've got to do, this is sharp as well, so, I'll see if this one other one works, this one doesn't seem to want to work, I don't know why I didn't swap it before, to be honest, but, actually why don't I just take the top of that one and put it on this one? I would tell when I've done this. What I decided to do was actually just swap them anyway because this is missing a corner. So what's you doing? This, the other one was missing a corner uh, where a screw socket is. Uh, so I'm going to take out the one that doesn't work, which is this one. That doesn't work. I'll take the one that does, and what you do is you swap that out like that. And you just push it forward like that, and this bit comes out, which is like a frame. And you take the actual trackpad thing, it's like stuck in, and that's the actual trackpad thing. Get rid of that. Put that in there. It's got to sit back in there, isn't it? Very annoying this type of thing. It sits in there like that. You put the frame back on top of it, like that, without trapping the thing. And it goes in. It's supposed to go like a sliding kind of lock thing. And if it fits, it should line up with the holes. And these screws the same. Right now, I have a long screw to break through the top of it because it's no point having it doing all this work on it and then think, Oh, I can't be bothered to change out the trackpad. I've got the things the intestines all over the table, it doesn't really make any difference to be honest at this point. As in going through the pain of doing this, it's what's the difference? It's the 10 minutes work, right? So, that one is the original top with the Celeron mobile thing on it. The buttons are actually on the motherboard which is rather amusing, normally they're separate but... Okay, so I'm going to take a piece of metal off that other one. Oh, where is it? What's... Oh, got to be bloody joking me. It's a bit of metal. Hello? This thing here, it's like a stuck a straining thing, I don't know what it is. And what I'll do is I'll put this back together and then I'm gonna put the Wi-Fi wires. Change that out, that's a whole other thing. I want to see if it works before I do the Wi-Fi. Okay, I'll come back when we put it back together. Right, put it back together. Got the screen, I'm gonna plug it in. Before I do the Wi-Fi, I want to see if it does... It works, it should do. Should. Based on the... Previous machine, it's the same thing. I just want to see it working. Yeah. Need the power. I'll see if this mouse works, but... I'd have to put the um, hard drive back in again. Okay, let's want to look at the keyboard as well. Okay. Let's see if it works. Just 
see it post first. system not found so that dual core is in there the only way I can test to see if it's actually going to be a dual core is if it's like it's recognizing both cores is to put an OS on it I've got my Linux hard drive so I'm going to see if that works let's uh, see if that does actually work even though it's it's no hard drive on it and what a success okay there's my hard drive it's a 40 gig it's an old IDE Pretty old. See, this trap pad works actually. It's a slow burn. The old one's wearing there. There it is. I don't know if it's going to know the difference between the single core and the dual core, if it will do a thing where it will complain about it. And the trackpad works, sort of. Yeah, it seems to work. That's good. I think the motherboard is not secure. I'll have to screw it back together because these buttons are based on the motherboard. How can I test if it's got... I don't know if it knows the difference, but... Yeah, the wireless isn't plugged in on that. Um, references... Where's the system tools? Task manager, will it give me two cores? I don't know. It isn't. Uh, it is a dual core processor, but it's not showing me it's dual core. Yeah, I'll be back with the uh, wireless thing. Right, I just had a bit of a thought. I didn't know if the processor I just swapped over, I didn't check if it actually was a dual core. And I checked on the case of the Dell system, it says Centrino Dual. So what I did was I went online, this is the Dell 820 with Linux, there's Ubuntu. Go and went on Wikipedia, Celeron 440 found it, it's quite difficult to find, it's a Celeron Mobile 440, the, that's the old process I just swapped out, 1.8 gigahertz, 1 meg hash, and it matches with what's, what it says on the processor, and it is a single core, it says October 06, this was so... That's interesting. So that's the process I've I've actually removed, and the socket. It says it was. Where is it? Where does it say the socket? It says socket M P G B A four seven nine. That's the socket that it's on. So what I've done is I've looked. This is the. Because you've got the um, core duo. Up again. Here, I'm trying to verify what I've actually done. Core Duo, the T T two X X X. This is the 2050 that I put into that machine, and the 2050 is. Let's find it. It is a dual core processor, and there it is. This is the one we put into that RM. I wasn't sure if it was a dual core, and it is. I thought, oh, have I just gone and put another single core in it? I hadn't. It says Core 2, Core Duo T2050, that's the one we've put in. 1.6 gigahertz, 2 meg cache, that's 1 meg per core, as far as I can understand. 533 megahertz front side burst, so it's still got a front side burst, it's not an i series. Times 12 mul multiplier, I don't know what the voltage was on the other one, probably similar. And it goes 31 watt TDP, it's the same difference. It says socket M though. Which I'm not quite sure if that's right because it says 47 
8 PG, whatever it was, and it's the same socket on both motherboards on the Dell um, Inspiron uh, 6400. It said the same socket as on the RM system, so it's the same socket. So I don't know what that, if that's Roy or I'm not sure that's the same thing. But it says Mayo 6, so those machines must have been made at that point or later. It's the same socket. That is the socket. Oh, it's got two different names, okay. PGA 478MT, that's the socket, so that is the socket. So I found the, the chip I've replaced and the chip that I've actually put in there. And it is a dual core system. It's the earliest one that they did. So, although it's slower than what's in this Dell machine, I'm on the Dell machine, not the RM. This is the 2400 in here, this is faster and a bit later. So, although that processor isn't as good as what's in here, it's better than the single core that it replaced. So, I just wanted to be sure, I wasn't sure, but there it is. Right, I'm going to take this screen to pieces because I'm going to change the Wi-Fi cable inside of it, which involves taking the panel out of the... Try and get it undone and it won't bloody come off. Oh, it's like a, a tablet, but it's just the screen. Oh, how's my hands doing that? Ooh. Oh, is there another screw here? Damn it. But there is, isn't there? Yes, there is. Under these rubber. Things. This is the screw. Screen from no, hang on a minute. I'm mixing up with my other Dell. I had to take the screen out of an R, out of the other, the other Dell because it was a similar. These actually the screens are very similar. They use the same panels. They just use different inverters or different um, connectors for the motherboards. and take it out and it don't want to bloody come out. There's that whole blocking thing there. Right, there it is. The bezel is precious. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take screws out of here take this screen out and the inverter which is a pain so I can get to the wireless things underneath and replace them with the ones from the Inspiron which do fit in here but I'm going to have to just fiddle with the wires a little bit because they're not quite they're not I've got to make them fit <coughs> but it's got to be done. If I want to get this wireless, it's not working with the wireless, I don't know. It seems to be that it's the, um, oh there it is. Here it comes, what's that? Okay, there it is. And underneath you've got basically like a bunch of foil. And um, there's the one part of the aerial or the antenna. And then there's the other one there. And the wires come off and go through here. So I'm going to pull this off. Be very gentle with the screen. And undo that. Keeping the screws. It just comes out like that. There it is. And there's a white one and a black one, and that's it. bold just to take that off. I have to touch this back foil thing otherwise it won't work. So this one's had it, it's not working at all, it's driven around a bend. So there's the Wi-Fi aerial or antenna as some people call it. Which is plates basically. 